am too excited about this. Wow. <laughs> Well, hey y'all, it's Ashley Renee, and welcome back to my sustainable travel, lifestyle, and smart tech YouTube channel, where I teach you how to live an adventurously green life. Now, right now you're watching my smart home series. I regularly post videos about my Tesla and my smart home technology setup. So if you're into those kind of things, make sure you subscribe to my channel so you can keep up with all of my smart tech adventures. Now, on the last episode of my smart home series, I talked about my smart home security setup, but on this episode, I want to get into lighting. So let's dive right into it. Now, I chose to light my home up with Philips Hue light bulbs, as well as these smart wireless dimmer switches. Now these are not just ordinary light bulbs. They change colors, you guys. They can also sync with music, they can sync with your video games and your movies, and you can also schedule them to come on whenever you want. That's pretty cool. And all with the touch of a button or even with voice commands. So I wanna get into exactly why I love my lighting setup so much. So let's go over some of my favorite features. So first of all, I love that you can create a mood for every single room in your house. I've installed these light bulbs pretty much everywhere, in my kitchen, my living room, my family room, my bedroom, bathroom, the upstairs entertainment area, and once we finish our basement, we're gonna have the lights all downstairs in the basement as well. As you can imagine, these lights can really be great for parties because they literally colorfully transform your entire house with the touch of a button. They have over 16 million colors to choose from and you can control what lights you wanna see where. So if you want all of the lights to be the same color, then you can do that. Maybe I want my kitchen lights to be blue as well as my family room. Or maybe I want my family room to be red and my kitchen lights to be blue. Or in this instance, I really want you to be able to see me, so I'm gonna turn them back to white. So they have 60 million different colors and then also all different shades of white to choose from. And as you can imagine, this would be a really great party trick. Your friends will love this. It's great for entertaining. Another cool thing about this app is they come with their own light recipes, or you can create presets of your own. For your daily routine, you can choose from four different white light presets that they have designed for relaxing, reading, concentrating, or energizing. For example, this is the relax, this is for reading, this is for concentrating, and this is for energizing. They also have some colorful presets, like for example, this is Savannah Sunset, which is a nice fiery orange, this is Tropical Twilight, which is a nice purple color. Another cool thing about Philips Hue lights, you don't even have to manually turn them on and off. You can actually schedule them to come on and off whenever you want them to. I remember back in the day when I had to plug in timers to my lamps in order to make this happen. Not anymore, y'all. You can create your own sleep routine by setting your lights to slowly turn on in the morning to gently wake you up and vice versa. You can have them slowly turn off in the evening times. You can also set your lights to automatically turn on and off whenever you're leaving or entering your home. Another really useful feature, which is really good for energy savings, is you can configure your lights to follow the timing of the sunset and the sunrise. And a really handy thing to do is when you're on vacation, you can randomize the way your lights come on so that way nobody knows if you're home or not. Okay, so let's talk about a feature that I just think is beyond dope. You can sync your lights with your music, your movies, and your video games. Like, can you imagine having a party and you're playing music and the lights are just turning off and on to the beat? It's like you're in a lounge or some kind of nightclub. It's a super cool effect that I really, really love and I cannot wait to test out on my next party that I have. 
Now, in order to sync your lights, you need to download the Hue Sync to your desktop and pair it with your Hue Bridge, just like you did with your Hue app, and I'll get into how to do all that later on in the video. Once that's done, the lights will sync with what's playing on your computer. I just tested this out with some Beyonce tracks and I can confirm it creates a very cool vibe. Now FYI, I did have to do some troubleshooting when I first tried this out because it didn't work right away. So if you have a Mac and you find that you downloaded PewSync and it's not working, try this because this is what worked for me. I went into my system preferences, security and privacy, selected the privacy tab, and I made sure the Hue Sync was checked under accessibility. That fixed the problem for me. The other thing I love about the Philips Hue lighting is all the different ways I can control it. So for example, as you guys know, I can control it straight from my app. I can control it straight from my smart wireless dimmer which is pretty cool. I can control it from the Hue Sync, which you download to the desktop. Um, and I can also use voice commands. So if you have a larger ecosystem like Google Assistant or Alexa, you can literally use your voice to control your lighting. For example, a lot of times I'll tell Google to turn the lights off. I can even tell Google to turn it down to a certain percentage. So for example, I can tell Google to dim the lights down to 10% and it'll do that. I love that there are just so many different ways that I can control my entire lighting setup. So we talked about all the features, now let's talk about where you should get started and also how you go about installing these bad boys. So first and foremost, very important, if you're just starting out with this, you're gonna wanna order the Philips Hue Starter Kit because that's gonna come with the Hue Bridge, which is very important, as well as four different light bulbs to get you started. Now the Hue Bridge is really important if you want this whole party to work because it is the brains of the system. It's what communicates between the lights and your smart apps that you're using to control the lights. Now, of course, we needed way more than four bulbs, so we bought the starter kit plus a ton of individual bulbs to finish uh, setting up our entire house. Now, this takes very little time to install, especially if you use a light bulb changer for those hard to reach areas like my ceiling. And it really, really reduced the time, you know, as opposed to, say, using a ladder to have to do this. Don't do it the slow way, get a light bulb changer. I have this 11 foot pole light bulb changer kit and it is amazing. All you have to do is attach the basket, which is the part that grabs the light bulb to the pole. You place the bulb large side down into the basket. You extend the pole and then you screw in the light bulb and it works in the reverse. You can also use it to unscrew a light bulb and pull it out. So simple, make sure you do it the easy way and not the hard way, guys. The wireless dimmer switch is even easier because all you gotta do is stick these wherever you want and you don't have to do any drilling, there's no mess, like you literally just stick it onto your wall and you're done. Now once you have everything installed, now it's time to actually connect your Philips Hue light bulbs and your smart wireless dimmer switches to the Philips Hue app, which is available for both iOS and Android. You do this with the Hue Bridge. Now, like I said earlier, the Hue Bridge is what connects everything together. You simply plug it in and then connect it to your router. Once you open the app and pair it with your bridge, you can begin using the phone to control your Philips Hue lighting setup. Y'all, I cannot emphasize enough just how much I love my Philips Hue lighting setup. It's one of the first smart home tech products that we got when we first moved in, and I've just found it to be incredibly useful. I use it literally every single day. And not only that, it adds a lot of spice to situations that would otherwise be pretty ordinary. So that's it for my smart tech video for today. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more of my smart tech adventures. I'm gonna have another one next week, and just to give you a hint, it might make you hungry. Hmm, what could this be? Until next week, you guys, keep on living an adventurously green life.